Hey guys, it's your boy Yahya from VR Division. If you wanna skip the intro, there is a link in the description on the new automotive car configurator. It was just released, all assets are included, the geometry of the car, the animations, the sounds, the environments and whatnot. So all of that for free, go check it out. Now, how did I learn about this? If you go to Unreal Engine, go to the community events or to the news and then click on the tag events, you will be up to date with every single event going on in Unreal Engine. So yesterday's event was Unreal Build Automotive 2021. Long story short, it was an incredibly awesome event. I was amazed by what's going on in the automotive industry and the innovation, the tools they're making, the simulations. Like It's amazing seeing how Unreal Engine directly affecting the products we buy or we live in uh, right now right here you know that's just incredible hey welcome back so now once you click on the link in the description you go to the unreal engine marketplace from epic games here there is the car configurator claim it to your account if you don't have an account just make one download it it will direct you to epic games launcher this page will open automatically click download create project actually set a location and wait for the download until it finishes so i'm gonna like whew, drink some coffee once the download is finished epic games launcher will verify the files and then go to library search my projects for car configurator click on it and wait for unreal engine to open wait and this loading screen here makes me Alright, after a few minutes the car configurator will open. I hope I have some performance here. So let's see how many frames we got. Ray tracing is enabled. So yes, I have a 1080 Ti. This is so nice. Sorry for the bad quality. I hope this won't affect the video. But I'm gonna do this, perhaps it's better. I think this is better for now. Should I disable ray tracing? Because if you also don't have a G great GPU, you don't have to have a great GPU in order to use this. What you can do is first going to unlet, so you can have like some frame rates, then go to settings and let's search for ray tracing and you can dis disable that. But don't do this. What you can do is just go to the post process volume search here in the word outliner for post process uh, can you guys see it yes the we have two post process volumes there's the car interior and the scene atmosphere so on the scene atmosphere let's click it go to rendering futures and go to ray tracing ambient occlusion disable it go to reflections set it from ray tracing to screen space and go to the translucency keep it at raster that's great what else do we have I think that would be almost all. If you click on your directional light and search here for ray tracing, there is also cast ray trace shadows. You can disable this. And we slightly have some better frame rates. It still looks really nice. Now, if we click on play, we start with the camera animation. That's nice. If you click in the viewport here, you can rotate around the car. I'm gonna press F11. Actually, I press F11 back because I think I'm getting bad frame rates. Still, this is very good. With the middle mouse button, you can pan around. With the right mouse button, sorry. Oh, wow. We have the paint. Nice. We can change the wheels. Ooh. This, like. Uh, yeah, and if you click somewhere with your left mouse button in the viewport, you can orbit around the center of the screen, I guess. Or. Yeah, the center of the screen. Nice. And what I like about this demo, if you, like, move your mouse below, it will open this menu again. So, there is no need for this menu to stay all always on the top. So, I really like this. Now we're, ooh, there's so much, this is so nice, guys. Can't change the leather. Yeah, I won't buy a car if I can't configure it first. We can take screenshots. 
There is like the environment sound. I don't know if you can hear it. Yes, can you hear that? This also comes for for free with the project. So nice guys there's just so much you can do in this demo now the best part because this is fully free fully open source for you to download now you can go to the project files here and learn about everything there is the blueprints there is the cameras there is a uh, just simply everything there is the audio here the blueprints so let's see what we have this is like a fade out logo I guess yes what I love about this project is that I just learn so much. Like this always accelerates the learning process of Unreal Engine. So thank you Epic for making this free. I'm very excited to dig into this and learn about how they made it and do my own stuff with it, you know? So that's awesome. Well, let me give you a quick channel update before we go. Join us on Discord so you can be aware of our events as well. So we're doing live streams and we're doing training sessions on Discord only. So that's another reason for you to join us. We reached 600 members on Discord and we reached 7,000. 7, Thank you so much, guys. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you want to support the cause, check out our Unreal Engine Masterclass in Architecture. If you're an architect or designer looking to create super nice projects in Unreal Engine, that course is for you. That's the best way to support us making more of these videos and keep doing Unreal Engine stuff. So thank you for watching. I will see you soon, guys. Cheers. Hope you got your coffee. Hey guys, I want to tell you a quick story. <coughs> Drink some water. <laughs> I hope you like uh, this new type of videos with uh, your boy here. <laughs>